Welcome my clashing friends and thank you so much for stopping by for a few minutes for Clash of Clans Attacks and the quest to number one. You guys asked for it, nay, you demanded it, and so I'm gonna give it a try, we will see what happens. And uh, so we'll look at some attack replays, but I'll have to tell you right off the bat, this is not representative of what I am seeing lately. In fact, I know nobody wants to hear me whine, but just a little bit, okay? Just give me a few seconds here. I am recording this episode with just a couple of days left in this league season, and it is absolutely torturous. If you talk to anybody who's anywhere near 5,000 trophies, it's the worst clouds I've ever seen, I kid you not. Far worse than pre-update. I am not sure what is going on, if it's the gluttony of all these players that are trying to attack through their shields or what. It's depleted the pools of available bases, and I am not kidding when I tell you that in the last eight hours, eight hours of searching in the clouds, I have not seen a single base, and I've got players in Lost Phoenix who have reported up to 16 hours between offers. Yes, 16 hours of non-stop clouds and green buttons informing them that they cannot find a village to attack. But, just like all the farmers did, I'm sure, before the update dropped, I am going to give Supercell a chance, and I'm going to wait and see what happens after the League reset. Now, it will be reset by the time this episode comes out, so we'll just have to wait and see. Check me out on social media if you want to hear the status of the search after the League is reset, and thousands, literally thousands of players have been reset to the exact same trophy level, 5,000 trophies, for the first time ever in the history of Clash of Clans. I'm hopeful that things will change, but right now it is complete torture for anyone who is in Legend League. These attacks right here that you saw have come from several days ago. Uh, one of these attacks came just the other day, but literally I have had one attack in the last 10 hours of searching. So again, I'm going to wait and see what happens after the League reset hits. But if it stays like this, it's going to be beyond torturous to be a player up near the Legend League. Because maybe, just maybe, Supercell did not foresee the problem that I see right now. And that is, because of the new shield system and the ability to attack through a shield and only lose a portion of that shield, there's really no incentive not to play this game 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, constantly searching for a good offer. You can always search through a shield, so why not? If you get a 6 trophy offer, so you pass it. You wait until you get a 28 trophy offer, or maybe it's a 10, 12 trophy offer. That's worth it to you to sacrifice 3 hours of shield, 4 hours of shield, whatever it may be. But in any case, because of the way things are set up with the village guard, the personal break, and the shield system, there's no reason not to play the game 24-7. I have to admit, the first couple of days after the update dropped, I was probably playing this game close to 18 hours a day. It was ridiculous. Get up in the morning, go to work, and have the iPad running next to me, and just look for bases the entire day long, the entire evening long while you're doing something else. No reason not to have the iPad out sitting next to you. Now, of course, I did tone it down since then, and like I've mentioned on social media, I've been traveling a lot lately. I've been out of town visiting family, uh, going overseas again. I was in Finland for a while, and uh, of course, now by now, you guys know exactly what that was about, I think. Let's see. It'll be close. But in any case, it is an exciting time in Clash, but it could be a critical time if this is what is going to continue in Legend League. Do we really have to sit and wait this many hours for an attack? And I realize I called for an end of whining, and that goes for trophy pushers as well as farmers. So if this does continue, then it's up to me, it's up to trophy pushers. Do they want to continue to face those kind of clouds every single month, or do they want to do something else? We'll just have to wait and see how things develop and exactly what happens, and of course, I will keep you guys updated, but for now, I will continue to try to work my way towards number one in some way, shape, or form. Right here, we're looking at a lucky defense. Yes, the occasional rare defensive win still happens above 5,000 trophies, but again, this player really was kind of up against it with 20-something heroes going up against a completely maxed out base. I have to say, props to him for giving it a try. That is a tough order when you're facing a level 40 king and queen and a level 20 grand warden and you have heroes that are just barely past half that level. 
So again, good effort, but it's just not going to work out with this base, and actually we will have an episode on this base coming soon as well. But again, to talk about the League Reset, it is going to be so weird to see thousands of players tied at 5,000 trophies, and obviously there should be more trophy offers in the beginning of the season, but what will be the best strategy to push hard from the beginning as long and as hard as you can, or to sit down and wait, wait it out towards the end of the season and attack and be the one that gets the higher trophy offers from these players that have pushed higher than you, I really don't know. Or will it just be absolute torture no matter where you are? I hope that that's not the case, but we will know in the coming weeks exactly how Legend League is going to play out. For the first time, we're seeing it work probably as Supercell intended, having a huge pool of players who reset to 5,000 trophies. So again, you guys wanted to see it, we will continue, and I will go until it becomes just banging my head against the wall. But for now, I will continue the struggle to number one. Thank you guys, as always, for watching all the way to the end of this episode. Please don't forget to check out my other episodes, like, comment, and subscribe for daily, let's call it Clash content. And I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Galidon, prepare for my quest to number one. I'll again be the top clasher.